Ashiye tatale, ashiye tatale, ashiye tatale, ashiye tatale, ebe ebe tatale, namo ba e tatale, ebe ebe tatale, namo ba e tatale. We are making some tatale today, or spice plantain fritters today. Let's get right into the video. My God, people, how did I do? Also, if you enjoyed this song, eh, my voice alone, give me a thumbs up already. For my list of ingredients, I have here half of an onion, two Ghana nutmegs or udiaba. I have a half a teaspoon of cloves, one chili pepper. These are quite spicy. It's from my sister's garden, so they're very nice and spicy. I have some palm oil that I will be I will use in frying. You can also use your regular uh, frying oil if you don't have the palm oil. I have here some salt. Then I have here four overripe plantains which I have washed so I don't transfer any dirt onto the plantain once I peel them. Then I have here some corn, um, corn flour. You can also use your regular flour but I'm making this gluten free so I'll be using the corn flour. So let's go ahead and start. So I will start by blending these ingredients. I have onion, the pepper, cloves, and the wood yellow. I will now proceed to peeling the plantains. Now that the plantains are all peeled, you will mash it with a potato masher or you can also use your food processor or use the blender but use the pulse button so you don't blend it too smooth. We will now combine all the ingredients and fry our tatali. So first I will add in the corn flour. As I mentioned, you can also use your regular all-purpose flour. Then I will go in with a teaspoon of salt and the blended ingredients. This is quite spicy but I love it. It's good for the weather. So now you're going to go ahead and fold everything together until it's nicely combined um, and everything is very well incorporated. You can also use this recipe to make your off farm or plantain cake. I will link the video to that in the description box. It's now time to fry. So I have about a teaspoon of palm oil in the skillet. I'll let this heat up and I'll add in about a quarter cup of the butter into the skillet. And once I add the batter into the skillet, I flatten it a little bit with the back of the measuring cup just to get it nice and flat a bit. I'll add in about two more scoops of the batter and let this fry until it's nice and golden brown on the first side. Then we will flip it and cook the other side until it's nice and golden brown and cooked on both sides. So you don't want to fry this on a high heat, I would say about uh, a moderate heat about medium low so you don't burn the outside and then the inside will not be cooked okay so we'll go ahead and fry it
If you enjoyed this video so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, like and share the video with your family and friends and on your social media platforms. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so you see a bell next to the subscribe button. Turn it on to all and anytime we upload a new video, you will be instantly notified. Thank you. Just look at how it's looking very nice and golden brown, very delish, nice and spicy. Um, this is the last but one as we'll say in Ghana and last but one. I have one more scoop and we will be done. All right, fam. So here is our spice plantain pancake or our tatali. I have a few in there that got a bit darker because I was uh, I was busy doing something else, but it tasted amazing anyways. And this is how it looks on the inside. It's very nice and crunchy on the outside, and yet it's still cooked on the inside. Very well said. You can have this with your bambara beans. You can have with your stew bean stew or you can have it on its own or with some peanuts i had it as a snack so i just had it on its own but literally guys as i was praying we were eating so i'm glad i had enough to take um to take some pictures or my thumbnail with it but this tasted amazing it was nice and spicy and that is it i hope you give this recipe a try and i hope you share with your family and friends thank you so much for doing this with me kindly share like the video and subscribe and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe down below also turn on your notification bells so you don't miss any of our uploads but thank you so much for doing this with me today until we meet again stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well have a good weekend ahead bye y'all